Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Thursday Night Shmup Book Club. Starting with Thunder Force 4 and then maybe moving on to some Ketsui if we feel like it later on. Let's get connected up to voice to see what everybody else is up to. Yo. Good evening. Well, I was just about to ask you if you were joining in today, and now my question has been answered. <laughs> That's right. So that works. The best. The best the way best. to answer is just to fucking join in. Good times. All right. Well, I'm gonna go get myself set up and prepare to face, dehumanize, and face the Thunder Force. <laughs> so I'm just about set up, so I should be able to go live shortly. Remember that control C doesn't work because it is hawk of shit. Oh, womp womp. And it steals my control C away to take a screenshot, which is not particularly helpful. Hey, turns out. What would you be using control C for? Copy pasta? Oh, oh, right, right, right. Sorry. Used to using that in a terminal for bopping out of shit. Ah, well, I mean, that's also a use for it, certainly. Alright, well I'm gonna hit enter and go here. Alright, I get my, my usual plugs if they're ready. So, give the internet a couple of seconds to figure itself out here. And have me actually be live, and then we'll... Oh, it's actually already muted. Nice. Twitch is learning. Oh, has it become sentient? Uh, well, I mean, it's at the very least not continually having the dashboard have noise, so... Alright, well, that's, I'll, you know, first steps. I'll take what progress I can get here. So, hey, what's up? Shmup Book Club time. Mr. Bond's hanging out. Yo! What's the haps? We're gonna see how badly I'm playing at this. Spoilers, probably pretty badly if this game is hard. It is. I surprisingly have not eaten it on the first stage yet, so... Oh, never mind! <laughs> Son of a bitch. You of shouldn't course. have said anything. I always have the worst timing. Excellent. Alright, well good. That's great. It's the best. I don't know. That shit out and of the way. I'm actually a little sad that we're almost at the end of uh, Case Week, because that's been a, a good, like, a good long-term project. Also, I need to figure out what the uh, Q3's shmup is going to be for that. It has been a pretty good long-term one, I will agree. Uh, I missed the shield. That's not good. Uh-oh. Restart, pretty much. Oh, wait, no. Wait! Ruin has a shield? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's somewhere past the midpoint, I want to say. Huh! Somehow, I had never found it. Huh. Yeah, I mean, it makes it one of the best starting levels. With both I... that and Hunter. Yeah, I was just doing it as a starting level because it's pretty easy. Also that. The fact that it has a shield just makes it top tier. Like, it's not even a contest now. Because I've done no miss uh, without apparently even knowing that the shield existed. Huh. On it. So... It clearly can't be that bad. No, I mean, it's really not. It gives you plenty of leg sections to kind of take a breath. Yeah, and you get the claw in time for the mid-boss, and that's the only thing that shoots bullets at relatively threatening quantity. Plus, you get that sick song in, like, 7-8, dude. 
Hell it, yeah. Is this 7 8? I love the oh, man. Yeah. Okay. I guess I, I never noticed. Time signatures. I'm a sucker for time signatures that make no sense in music. 7 makes some sense. I don't know. I was listening to what what could I guess be described as prog metal uh, <laughs> by by Planet X, and they have a song 2116, which you guessed it is in the time signature of 2116. That is an ridiculous. Entirely, an entirely not sensible at all time signature. Wait, is there a shield and runs? I must have missed it. Huh. I guess I never get the shield and ruins then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I'm an idiot. Incredible. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even know there was one, but I, like I saw the other colored S floating off the screen. It was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a shield. Huh? How did I never see this? But it's apparently up near the top or something. Oh well, shit. Just ate it right away in the air raid. That's a good restart. So yeah, I guess that's a thing. Huh, near the top, you say? I will have to look out for it. I don't know, because the S was, like, almost overlapping with the top, like, ceiling. Oh. Stuff. Oh, shit. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> that, no. That one was bullshit. <laughs> like, the, the, you know the weird, like, Mario flipper thing stage wannabe thing that shows up at the beginning of uh, Doctor? Um, maybe. I don't know. I'd have to see it again, it's, I think. It's like a, it's got like the weird circle and then just the two flipper bits that extend out. Oh, okay. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it shows up literally once and it's a completely unremarkable enemy. It turns out it's remarkable because it can just fucking arbitrarily shoop up from the bottom and collide with you. Huh. Like from off screen, it's just kind of whoop and plowed right into me. Womp womp. Good start. It's okay. This gives me an opportunity to further investigate this, this apparent ruin shield. Uh, Alright, so I, I just got the claw and I'm at the mid boss, but I must have missed it again, huh? Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know. Weird. Yeah, like, I, I I definitely saw it. It was definitely there. Oh, the skateboarding guy just kind of shoots off screen. Okay, sure. I guess I don't stick very much to the top and ruin. Whoa, Jesus. So I guess I miss it a whole bunch. Oh, uh, no, I just shooped off too. Oh, there he is. Yeah, they like to fuck off a lot. It's really unfortunate, because they're points. Yeah. Okay, Blade. So it was like definitely before the mid boss. Huh. Yeah, then I definitely never get it. Which is oh! okay. unfortunate for me. Okay, I figured it out. It's not in a standard power carrier. That's how it gets you. Uh. That's why it's tricky. It's like a weird hidden thing that you, uh, you can shoot at reveals the, the shield. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that is good info to have. That's fascinating. I guess that's kind of like the, uh, extra life and shit, which level is that? Five, maybe? Yeah, I think five has one like that, where it's like... It's right like at the tip of the, of the ship. ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See if I can't get owned two seconds of the air right now. <laughs> Wait, you want to get owned? I don't. I really don't. It messes up the flow of things. That makes it sound like you want to get owned. I mean, maybe reverse psychology type thing going on here. Uh, I see. Things looking good now. Okay, so it's still. Yeah! Alright! That's. Hell useful and just huh. solidifies ruin as the correct uh, the correct stage one choice. Gosh, now I can't remember if I ever had shield. Oh, that's right, because I get shield about uh, a third of the way through air raid. That's why. Because it's 
because it's totally doable, no miss, even without the shield. Yeah. The shield just makes the beginning of whatever stage I choose next that much safer. Which means maybe I need to change my routing again and do like two one two one four three. Hunter. No, it might be a little OP that Hunter goes through everything, but eh. <laughs> you seem very troubled by this. I, I'm not very troubled, but I mean, <laughs> concerned, perhaps. Concerned. But it okay. is fleeting. that it's powerful if you can get its obnoxiously huge hitbox to actually hit anything worth the damn problem is a lot of the bosses have obnoxiously small hitboxes and the blade is woefully unprepared to actually make that hit happen yeah it's not great for that but which is a shame because you know it'd be great to be able to like have as an alternative Mm, the twin shot. Oh wait, the blade replaced it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean Hunter's as good as any for that sort of thing too, but... Hunter's hitbox is kind of large too, though. Yeah, this fucker! That fucker can just arbitrarily float up at you. What a jerk. <laughs> Get out of here. Also, it has like 8 billion HP. Bad Candy's not here, so you can't complain about the uh, straight graphics being eye barf. <laughs> I mean, the straight graphics are pretty. They're not great. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> that well, also sounded not great. <laughs> so it's fine. Also, I think I missed the shield in stage four at some point, so that kind of sucks. I yeah, guess that I one totally I'm not forgot where sure. that is. I'm not even sure where that one is either. I found a shield and lost a shield. I'm hmm. net neutral on shield.
not supposed to have three rotating sets, the fucker. You're only supposed to have oh, two, shit. you cheating boss. <laughs> Desert boss. Yeah. Yeah, that fucking Robert, sure go away. What the hell? That's not how that's supposed to work at all. hidden shield in stage one too it would make a lot of sense if there was like shields in all of them to you know make the early game not so punishing yeah maybe it's like for being labeled as stage one stage one is really fucking rude in a lot of places it is ostensibly stage one but i don't know how much i buy this Like, I always try to railgun the stupid, like, blue snake thing. Oh, uh, Hunter's and where it's I, at for that. And then I always forget about the dude that comes in on the right when you're doing that, and so I just eat that dude literally in my face and die. It's not the best. At least I have railgun for the damn mid boss. I'll take what I can get there, I guess. Because, uh... Void is killing this thing suck without it. Uh, please, no. No, no TV static. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm about to uh, face that very boss. After you wait for three minutes while that swinging arm dick gets out of your face. Yeah, basically. Also need to have this lovely extended bit where the stupid uh, airship, like other ship thing, takes up half the damn screen, and still has collision. I find where the shield is in the desert. No idea where it is. Wow! Amazing. I got the claw and died basically at the same time. Well, so one and one. So much for that. <laughs> I guess ah. I don't want the claw for the damn boss, huh? Oh, bye bye, Hunter. Oh, good. Yeah, right before the mid boss, too. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Yeah. So. I suspect my best bet here may actually be to go 2-1 because I know stage 2 well enough to actually get out of there without taking a damn hit, which means that I actually stand a half decent chance of having most, if not all, of my shield for stage 1, which is inexplicably hard. Oh, fuck. Bye, Blade. Oh, there's a 1-up in Desert too? Shit. Yeah. Damn, it's, that. it's a power parrier that uh, shoots by very, 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 very quickly. Yeah, on the bottom after mid boss. Yeah. I don't know, all sorts okay. of things tonight. Twinshot does an enormously better job at killing uh, fucking Gargle Diver or whatever the fuck the stage one boss is. I think it's Gargle Diver. Yeah, it's whatever, Ugly Face McGee. Yeah. Ugly face McTail fucker. Yeah, there we go. Appropriate okay. first and last name. Alright, he's dead. Get out of here, you jerk. Okay, note to self, just use if I have blade, just use the back shot. Cause the hitbox on that fucker is so tiny that basically using blade is just asking for the fight to take a year and a half. And 
frankly, that fight is already dangerous enough without it taking a year and a half. I have no idea how to deal with the start of the, like, current section. Uh -huh. There's dudes coming from both sides, and I take a, a death or a shield hit there. Pretty much literally without fail. It's terrible. I hate it. At some point, this will start flying in outside and it jerks. I never remember quite when that happens, though. But you know what I'd love to do is maybe actually have my shield intact for, like, say, stage 5. That would be you know, fucking phenomenal, wouldn't it? That would be actually the best. So, of course, it will never happen. I think it's here where the missile's coming on you if you're not paying attention. Yes! And I still almost got owned by them. <laughs> because I forgot where they came from, I just remembered that this was the point at which they'd show up. So that's brilliant. Well, I'm the plus. Coming into the speed zone, and I still have shield, so at least I shouldn't eat a dumb death here. This is, you know, this shouldn't be too horrible. Cool. And, you know, I'll probably lose my shield, but I won't die, and that's the important thing. Being of, there goes my shield. <laughs> well, it did its job. And I died! <laughs> Fucker! <laughs> womp womp. Fortunately, the stage 3 boss is almost completely non threatening. But damn if the fight doesn't take a year. Uh. Oh. Yeah, come get some, boys. Do your fucking jobs. <laughs> oh, are you with five? Yeah. Get some gosh dang air support here. Hey, the missiles come in to destroy the enemy warships or whatever in stage three. That's helping. <sighs> I mean, I guess. It doesn't really seem to do much. Except scare me when they start. <laughs> and kill you with friendly fire. Well, that's true. Although I'm not even sure they can actually hit you. Can they? Uh, I think so, because I'm pretty sure I've gotten hit by them. <laughs> huh. Oh, well, I have shield, alright, whatever. And freeway does make the, like, ending bit of this boss go so much easier, because you just kind of park on top of it for a while, and point the freeway at it, and then it dies. <laughs> it's pretty great. Oh, jeez. All right, that's right. Green lasers. Up up. Okay, and now we have the uh, extremely fast three-way shot brigade. Which, of course, they eat a life for one of those because, you know, of course. Oh, huh. Hmm, I might have to try that in the future. That seems to be a nice way to cheese that is to just, like, shoot forward. Potentially. I'm not gonna guarantee that that'll work though. Which boss are you at now? No, I'm not at the boss, at the beginning of five. Oh, okay. It's the very fast three way. Yeah, jerks. yeah, I get you. Okay, there's a shield like right about now. Yeah, like almost right before you destroy whatever his nuts is. Well, good thing I grabbed it, because I, like, took a hit immediately after grabbing it. Oh, sh- Ah! Decisive.
Also, there are so many things on, like, the top of the airship that shoot those stupid red, like, long lasers that are obscenely dangerous. Yeah, they're not great. <laughs> Alright, well, I know there's a shield up here somewhere. Oh, right, and the, like, missile launcher thing that can launch a missile. Exquisite. Or whatever that's supposed to be. I don't know. It looks like a missile. Kind of. Whoa, when do fish have missiles? What the hell? Fuck off with that. <laughs> Friendly laser's gonna own a mothership, or is that the evil lasers? I actually can't tell, but they don't hurt me, so that's fine. Oh man, that hitbox is so jank. Whatever. All right. Bye, friend. You tried. They showed they up. Give you that <laughs> oh no! Ah, oh, fuck! I missed whatever that was. I'll I'll leave it at they tried. A try an attempt was made. Things I do like when you get the superpower uh, clause at the end of five, your actual like lives left symbol changes too. Oh, so it does. It's a really neat little touch. Oh, uh, I don't well, remember those okay. things actually making noise before, but okay. When they charge up, yeah. No, the like weird wavy arm, wacky wave, wavy arm guys. Oh, yeah, I don't they think I've ever heard their noise. Noise at me, which I don't think I'd ever heard before. Oh, fuck. And stage six is such a. Everything ever. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll die shield. Hello, shield. <laughs> <laughs> May it serve you well. <laughs> Mine did, sort of. Fingers. Fingers well, I mean, it protected you from that beast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think it's three hits, that sounds about right. Yeah, three or four, something like that. I don't know, but who's counting? <laughs> oh! I don't know, it's difficult to count given how much is constantly going on in this game. It's an enjoyable game, but it's definitely a bit, uh, busy sometimes. Yeah, it is hard to parse. Alright, I have three lives in stock. This is actually kind of okay-ish. <sighs> All right. I forget how seven starts. I'm probably gonna get owned immediately. Oh, it's the magma one. All right. With a really good, like, stage song. That's right. Stage seven's music is pretty kick-ass. Oh, jeez. Hi, laser. Bye-bye, snake. Okay. Well, it is time for oh, uh, oh, Captain shield. Stabs a lot. Oh. Hello, Captain Stabs a lot. How are you doing today? Please do not stab me. He's feeling very stabby today. Oh wow! All right. Excuse me. Um, excuse He's me. That's really very shot stabby today. Good, give, give. I don't know if those, do those help? Yes, they do. Okay, one stabby, one stabby bit is gone. At least this time I know that he has a final hanging on for dear life phase. <laughs> yeah, he'll get you the first time on that, won't he? Oh, wow, there's two shields at seven. That is oh, news. Nice. That is news. Top side for the second one. 
You haven't fooled me this time, you fucker. Yeah, that's right. Take that. What's up, Time Time Stalker, you need to get in on this. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Didn't you he choose it? it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a lot of things happening there. I don't remember where the first shoe is, though. I ah, shit! I think it's close to the top. It sounds yeah. like he could have used it just then. Yeah, an off screen laser just kind of owned me there. Yeah. As soon as one of those turrets comes stage on. Seven, yeah, stage seven is kind of uh, a little rude. Actually, um, all the stages are kind of a little rude, but. I think I just froze up here. No, come on, no. Please don't do this to me. Son of a bitch, no. Uh-oh. Wait, what? It, How? It froze. It's like it's got a high-pitched whine, and now it's just frozen. God. Weird. No, I'm at almost 1.2 million. Fuck you, and I've got six lives left. Oh, uh, no. Eat me. Ah, <laughs> shit. Fuck that me. sucks. That is the worst. Ugh. God damn it. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. I found the other shield. I, and I lost a hit of the other shield. And uh, oh, this fuck. is a fascinating, like, weird pseudo snake parade guy. God damn it. Well, I'm going to have to restart. Super. Well, did you at least get a screenshot of your 1.2 that you had at the time? Cause... Uh, I think my current one is slightly higher still, but I've got one just in case. Ah. Uh, God bless America. That is... Oh, that makes me very salty. Uh, rightfully so. That's bullshit. <sighs> That's really some garbage there. Oh, hey. Claw. Nice. Hey, Kenny. How you doing? Good to see ya. Yeah, also Kenny trash talking this game still. <laughs> Come on. It doesn't look that bad. All right. I gotta find this yeah, shield. Yeah, no. This stage 7 background is pretty fucking cool. Oh, fuck. Whoa! Hi, what the fuck is this thing? Whoa, did he just fuck off again? God damn it. What the <laughs> Beautiful thing up here, huh? Okay, I must, I'm gonna just have to assume I'm actually doing damage right now. Whatever this thing is. I already missed it, maybe? Oh! Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna look for the shield before I restart here. <laughs> I just missed it. I had beans. And oh god. Oh! What's up, what's up, fucker? If I get the claw, I've gone what too far. Shit? Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. I don't need that shield. It's fine. What even is this fucker? <laughs> you in the stage seven boss? Yeah. Yeah. That's where I just froze up, so. Yeah, he's kind of a mess. What the? Christ! <laughs> uh. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Making noise for that too. What a shit. <laughs> well, okay then. Oh, come on man, don't fuck off. Here you go. Ah. <laughs> Wow, that sure is a thing. Haha, I improved my score by like 30,000 points. Also, Kenny, I have no idea where the Saban is getting all these points from. I am doing a lot of flying around when I should probably just be standing still, but whatever.
Also, the, uh... I like the continued use of turtles as a measurement of score. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. well, that's very bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment with this here new route. I'm gonna do two, one, four, three. That sounds like my route. Very well might be my route. Oh, no, he's, he, I was gonna say he fucked off, but he didn't quite fuck off. He's still here. No, now he fucked off. Yeah. <laughs> Once they get it in their minds to fuck off, not much stopping it. 52 is pretty good to four bots. Yeah, you're getting like 10 extra K before the stage 2 boss, then. Where the hell is all that coming from? I don't know. I do a lot of sweeping up and down to get the capsules, but I think those are only like a hundred apiece anyways. Like, the weird laser dudes are worth a bunch, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting those regularly. I don't think there's any time bonus for destroying bosses quick, right? Oh, I think I missed the shield somehow, even though I was up top and was trying to shoot the shield zone. So that's fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I haven't yet found that one. Maybe that's only revealable with certain types of weapon? Maybe Snake doesn't reveal the damn thing? Because that would be great. Would be, but I wouldn't put it past this to do that. On turn. Oh, jeez! I forgot that guy had a missile. Fuck me. Oh. Well, that sucks. Mm. Clearly what I should do, though, is, like, shoot everywhere and see if I can't find a hidden shield in stage one. Because that's where it would really come in handy. Oh, get an extra 2,000 for getting those expandy bits out of two. Yeah, I think I get most of those. Wow. Each of the laser firing dudes is 2,000 apiece as well. Yeah. I don't know, I. All of that. Oh, what? Ah. <clears throat> yeah, Kenny, I'm playing the Japanese version. It says Thunder Force 4, not Lightning Force Quest for the Dark Star, some light lame. Lightning American... Force. Sorry, Kenny. Light Tenny. Some other lame American name. Oh, oh, well, he's fucked off. All right. Raid gun. I got fucking point blank. That's a cheap shot. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. <laughs> That's God pretty good. That's pretty good game. So, Kenny, what are you playing again, though? Hey, are what you are you playing, and is it any good? And should I do? And should I play it? Should I do it? If he's still playing Overload, then yes, absolutely, you should do it. Fucking fantastic uh... game. Ooh, here. <laughs> Well, well done, BD Joe. Also, what's up? Overload, I should play sub level zero. Eh. 
<laughs> All right, so Kenny measures score in turtles and prices in burritos. <laughs> prices in burritos. That is a pretty good measurement. Um, yes, I use a buckling spring keyboard, although I'm honestly considering switching to a micro switch keyboard at some point for my home computer. Because as much as I love my buckling spring keyboard and it's great and lovely to type on and all, I, I could stand to maybe have like a few extra keys for like muting and volume switch and other goofy shit like that. Maybe get one of those nice ones that has like a USB hub built in. Hmm. Those are pretty cool. I like Widow has that, doesn't it? Oh, he what? speaks. Wait, I thought you weren't showing up. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I, I, I will be out of here in like 10 minutes, but I figured it would be easier to talk about overload and sub-level zero here than in chat. True enough. Uh, um, but yeah, the, the verdict about sub-level zero is... I, I, I refer to it as the other visual travesty as opposed to this game on purpose because... It is very, very brightly colored, and so sure are the is. enemies. And yep. it is actually kind of hard to distinguish enemies from background. I find that oh, happens good. to me a lot. Um, I'm playing as the Seeker right now, which actually makes things oh. easier, because then you can shoot without aiming and shit, so it finds the enemies for you, because you can't see them. Sorry, I'm pondering where the fuck the shield is, because all of a sudden I can't find it anymore. Bleh. This doesn't make sense, and I hate it. No, don't uh, fuck yeah. off. Ah. Joe, yes, I have a Unicom. There's a non-zero chance I switch over to the Tatsui suit, because fuck. <laughs> playing real bad. I had the one decent run, and playing real bad otherwise. Uh, yeah, I might do that too, since I got juked out of my fucking golden run there. Bullshit yeah, ass mother that's, crap. That's Urgh. Although what what are you using to run this? Because uh, what's the retro, retro arch. Yeah. Oh it is. Okay. What core though? Uh the I don't know, whatever the default Mega Drive core is. Dang it, that guy needs to stop fucking right, off. I need those take care points. Of you, Joe. Good luck with your keyboard ordering needs. <laughs> Where the fuck is the shield? Motherfucker! How do I discover it and then be completely unable to find it in the same damned night? <laughs> Are you sure it was at the top? It was! It I don't know. absolutely was! I haven't been able to corroborate this story, so. I found it! There! It's right <laughs> fucking there! Oh, he found it after he bodied himself like three times, but okay. But hey, I mean, for science. The problem is, like, how do you remember where the crap things are in this? Like, there aren't really landmarks, per se. Oh, that's true. I mean, there's enemy ways, I guess? But then, like... Probably the best landmark is the power-ups. Power-ups com uh, combinated. Power-ups combinated with enemy ways. Uh, uh yeah. Made okay. in the country, so no way. Wait, what? No, uh... Also, Mr. Bond, what was your score that you lost tonight? Uh, it was at a 1162420. It's lower. It's and lower I, than yeah. his other one. And I still had seven lives, or I'm sorry, six lives left. Oh, that's so, so terrible. That could have been really good, but. His, his record's 119. Yeah. Alright, well, I improved that score tonight, so let's see if I can improve my other score tonight. <laughs> That one's less likely, because my KB score is pretty fucking good at this point. I am I am actually quite pleased with having a uh, 75 on that. 75 mil, though, in k is pretty legit. I'm so let me see what people should buy on Steam, because things are on sale now. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you have good something. Steam game recommendations. Well, I mean, like, people who are in Shmup Book Club should play, like, you know, Crimson Clover, because that's probably cheap enough again. Uh, 
uh, also the homepage is auto search thing. Auto complete is not working because Ooh. obviously they can't make it work while the sale is on. <laughs> um, why would you want to do oh, that? Yeah. Um, why is it? I searched for Crimson Clover and it only gives me the soundtrack because I didn't misspell Crimson correctly. <laughs> um, it's yeah, it's two bucks again, so you, you should get that. Oh uh, yeah, Crimson Clover for two bucks is a literal steal. Like, um, if it were me, I would almost not buy it right now because it's worth more than that. Ikaruga is five bucks again. Um, Don Maku Unlimited three is seven bucks if that's your sort of thing. I think I have two, not three. Blue Revolver is seven fifty. Blue Revolver oh, also it. an amazing game with a yeah, really good worth, soundtrack. That's worth that. Absolutely worth that. Jesus, are you typing out a list or something? I'm not going to be able to remember this. Oh. Honestly, yeah, you should. Oh, yeah, let me go to post it to my book club channel. I'm currently dealing with trash like taking a missile off the butt. It's hard to remember game names. Let's see what else we have. Uh... Let me search for, like, cave, because that'll probably find some stuff that I don't necessarily own, either. No, not cave story. Different cave, guys. <laughs> and it's also a good know. cave. This isn't... This isn't... Alright, let's just search for one of their games and do it that way. Okay. Yeah, search for, like, Dodon Patchy. I searched for mushihime san which is 8 bucks. That's a good it, price for Mushihime. Style. That's what it usually is when I see it on sale. Um, you have to realize that there are also DLCs for the soundtrack. And oh for, my god. And for what is V1.5? Uh, it's one of their goofy arrangements. Also known as Masuri mode. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Huh. When you kill the boss, you still get the multiplier even if you don't kill the block shot. There we go. Today I learned. Hmm. Oh god, what is this awful... No, don't give me a feature, just give me a list, goddammit. Oh god, I can't just get a list of things that this developer has created with prices. Oh, here we go. Did you click on the developer name and go... Yeah, but then you have to click on... But then it gives you a bunch of spammy bullshit at the top that's not useful, and you have to click on browse to go down to the actual list. Um, apparently. Incredible. Then, then this doesn't have everything. Uh, incredible. Okay, Donopachi is 15 bucks, which is apparently half off. Death Smiles is also 8, just like Mushkin Okay, Donopachi for 15 is also not a bad deal. That's a very good game. It's also tough as fucking nails, but you know, what Donopachi is. Alright, what else do we have here? Um, I did notice... Okay, so I guess they have their name on some of the Darius First Chronicle Saviors DLC, but... Yeah, because there's that's, the cave DLC. But obviously Kaido created the game, so right. let's see what that's actually... Uh, if DDCS is like 20 or 30, that's a decent price. Yeah, I bought, it for, I bought it for 20 and I still haven't played it much at all. Yes, 20 again. 20 is not a bad price for DDCS. It's really not. It has a bunch it's of content a, in it. It's a good game, and if you have two monitors, you can span it yeah. across both monitors, and that's a that really was, cool experience. Nice. That was the first thing I did. It's really neat to play it like that. Also, I'm just bad at shmups in general. Maybe I should find something different to play today. <laughs> I don't know what that would be, though. So... I can always just call an audible and play a different, really difficult, frustrating uh, game in Celeste because I have seasides I can work on. Ooh, nice. Which, by the way, seasides, good fucking lord. Yeah, yeah, they're something. They are something. Holy. I, oh, I wow. took one look at the uh, Chapter lord. 3 seaside and I just went like, eh. <laughs> I'll just I wait. Don't actually be I don't actually need to play this right now. Just wait until you get to Chapter 8 Seaside. Monolith is four bucks. Be a good time. I haven't played enough of that Dude, yet. Four here. bucks for Monolith is a fantastic price, and that's a very good game as well. Plus, they're going to have a DLC coming out somewhat oh. soon, maybe. 
I've seen in their Discord, like, what the fuck did I get hit by there? Work in progress shit for it, and it looks really good. I'll have to get back to playing that at some point soon. Also, I'm limiting what I'm posting in the channel to stuff that, like, might be viable for Schmuck Book Club, but I have to obviously. Holy shit! Assault Android Cactus is six bucks. Everybody buy it. What? That. that is criminal. Like, I was expecting it to be half off. That's more than half off. That's 60% off. Next Machina is also six bucks, which is interesting because it normally retails for for twenty, so that's actually a deeper discount, which is fair because um, it's not as good of a game as as Assault Android Cactus is. True enough. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's definitely less visually accessible, and I feel like it has less replay value. But if if strictly set difficulty levels are your thing, then go for it. Um, I found Assault Android Cactus in one difficulty, but ranks to be more satisfying. So, uh, is Overload on sale then? Or Probably just not, because it just came out. That'd yeah, be it's, weird. it's, it's uh, to be honest though, like 30 bucks is a sale. I thought it was going to be 35, but it's 30 bucks even after release. It was 25 in early access when I bought it. And you say that is absolutely worthwhile? Totally, I, already bought, I bought it twice. Because I bought the, uh, I bought it on Steam originally in early access, and then I bought it on GOG once it released there so I could have DRM free. So that, so that I can, uh, bring it with me to SGDQ and Ron thinking whoop my ass on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna have to go pick that up at some point. Maybe that maybe that can be my Monday project after I finish uh finally finish all of the five thousand. <laughs> Why isn't Kenny talking or... about deep space waifu? What the fuck is that, Sam? <laughs> Why <What? laughs> I don't deep know. What? Deep Space Waifu? I don't know. I'm sure that's code for some weeaboo type thing. I feel like I have seen this. Oh, this is by the same people as freaking. um... I want to think this is by the people that did, like, Queen Pop or something. No, maybe not. It's just Deep Space Waifu stuff. Alright, what the hell is this nonsense? Oh yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> That, that, well, I would say that, I would say that shouldn't even be allowed on Steam, but Steam changed their policy, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, they ain't curating shit anymore, man. Everything will be on Steam. That. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, ain't nobody got time or money for that, I guess. Huh, Nino, didn't Nino Kuni 2 come out really recently? I feel uh, like it did. Because it's already Probably just within the last year or so. Oh no, more, yeah, more recently Cool, than that. fuck those missiles, alright. It's 40% off. It came out, it that came out literally strong. two days short of three months ago, and it is 40% off. Something's wrong with this picture. Yeah, that seems weird. Um, I will say, like, I don't know, I haven't played the second one, I played the first one, and I stopped playing it as soon as it introduced, like, AI-controlled, like, companion characters, because the AI was shit. And I was just, I, I was just like, I can't pick yeah, up my that's, teammates. That's fair. Dying. Can't prevent my teammates from dying because they're dumb as bricks. I'm not playing anymore. And I'm sure I might have been doing it wrong, but I don't know. That's what happened to me. While we're on the topic of things that we apparently can't do, I am having difficulty getting the fuck out of stage one! What the shit, man? Um, hey, Everspace is the thing Bond was playing, Ooh, right? that's a fun game, too. I do like that one. It's a very uh, slow starter. I, I... Steam rudely interrupted me by deciding it would be cool to, like, show some rando streamer at the top of the store page for Everspace and scroll down everything else. Um, so that's great. <laughs> um, it's, it's ten bucks right now. Wow, that is a steal. Yeah, like, it seemed like a pretty cool game. I'm not sure how much I'm into Space Sims specifically, though, uh, so I'm not... I don't know, have you ever played uh, Descent Free Space? No, I didn't. It's oh, probably like that, but much better. Free space, you should rectify this Free Space <laughs> really 
Uh, yeah, you're- I feel like that came up recently, probably in the context of the Overlord Discord. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That's like, scary. Free Space is a video game that anyone who enjoyed Descent ought to play. It is definitely different than Descent, but it is extremely good. I feel like one of the Free Spaces was hot trash, but I don't remember which. Um, I, I want to think two has to be good because it's still got it's like it's still being community supported as far as I know. Oh really? Yes. Interesting. Um, the one that everyone probably says is trash is the uh, expansion to the first one, which is Silent Thread. That could be. The Silent Thread is kind of uh, has some iffy stage design, or, like mission design, I guess. So, Everspace says it has roguelike elements, but then, like, how, yeah, long, that's how, long, are the, how long do the instances tend to be? Um, all the way through, I'd say maybe about a buck ten, a buck twenty. Okay. Oh, that's not terrible. But you can do it much faster if you're less, uh, collecty than I am. And also less bad than I am. I that's was gonna true. say, less bad was like, I'm gonna die quickly. I mean, how much of it know, is, I like, fighting like, versus exploration? Uh, probably 3070, like I'd say. But the movement is so gosh dang smooth. That's what huh. struck me like right away about it. It's really fun to move around. All right, all y'all are gonna have to start putting all of these suggestions in places I can look at them when I'm not being bad at chance. God dang it! Did I miss the shield and air raid? Damn it! I did. What the fuck, man? <laughs> what the hell is going on tonight? This is garbage. I don't know. We're we're both just hot garbage. I have an entire score ranking of... <laughs> of who? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Because... Expresses how I feel without getting censored by the game. That's true. I'm surprised they censor Ah, too, though. That's a I, legit emotion. Like the... I think it's to prevent people who just, like, mash the thing. Yeah, I guess. Littering the scoreboard with odds. Man, Aaron A. Aronson must be really pissed about that, then. Yeah. It's okay. I'll just play the, um, hold down the rapid fire button and try and shoot stuff and see how I do this game. And the answer is, I still haven't died yet, somehow. Hmm. Alright, well. This mid boss is gonna take a year and a goddamn half to kill, though. Alright, I should actually get going, but I guess if you have no Ooh. idea what sub level zero redux is, it's a. It's basically you take the scent and make it a roguelike. It's pretty good, aside from some visual issues. Yeah. And uh, honestly, like, the. <laughs> Try playing Overload and Sublevel Zero re Redux back to back, and like the movement is just night and day. Yeah. It was kind of funny because on on the Overload server, I was commenting about how holy crap, I can't move worth shit in this game when I played Sublevel Zero, and uh, Ronkley posted a a clip where he went back. <laughs> he was getting back into Sublevel Zero, which you know he kind of has to because he's speedrunning it next week for SQDQ. All right. And uh, he's like, wow, I. I didn't realize how much I got used to Overload's movement. I, I I feel like, you know, I really need to go places now, come on. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, that's true. That's and then I posted, true. as a response, I posted my clip of when I was, uh, when I had been playing sub-level zero for two hours and was like, alright, I don't have time to start another run, let's do some Overload challenge mode. And I was like, oh my god, I shouldn't have picked Hot Shot right off the bat. <laughs> Um, oh my god, look at the, look at this turning, this is what I was talking about. Also, I'm going to die immediately. Oh yeah, if you're gonna play both of them kind of fresh out, start with sub-level zero. Just so you don't was... get kind of screwed over like Kenny did. Well, I mean, that's what I did though, I started with sub-level zero. It's just that, like, Overload, you need the better room, but you gotta get used to it again real quick. Yeah. Yeah, alright, I will talk to you guys later. Alright, bye Kenny. Alright, see you Kenny. Doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> post, you. post that games list first. Somewhere. Oh, okay, good. It's in Thank the you. Book. <laughs> Spoilers. Some of the games mentioned in that list may, in fact, be games that show up as like shmup of club games because yeah. there is a bunch of games that were mentioned that are really good, 
and that I like a lot and want to get better at. Very, very quiet because both of us are concentrating. That's right. I'm sick of taking dumb deaths on one and two. <laughs> You might get a kick out of this. A uh, friend and I are potentially going to... Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Alright, hang on. Let me... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let me get past, like, this in stage two where I could potentially die if I'm bad at video games, which apparently I am. <sighs> Fuck, okay. Well, now it doesn't matter because I'm dead. Uh, a friend and I are potentially going to team up to do some game dev shit, and... Uh, he likes doing engine shit, and I like doing the actual game design shit, so it's actually going to work out pretty well nice. in that regard. Uh, but we're talking about potentially doing a shmup idea that I Ooh. had, so it, it could actually be pretty magical. Well, run, no. run my own... <laughs> this would be a long-ass time from now, but run my own damn shmup for the shmup book club. Nice. That's yeah. right. Homemade <laughs> shmuppin'. You have to keep us surprised of that then. That'd definitely I be something I'd play. It. Oh, there's the desert shield. Man, what the hell is right in front of me the entire goddamn time? <laughs> I think I might just be and eating it like right before and missing the ship or something. And yet I somehow still miss it. Right before the mid boss, mid section. Okay, all right, all right. I guess that's cool. Oh Jesus! All right, excuse me. Your excuse. <laughs> this uh, flappy tail boy needs to go away immediately. Oh, uh, that's not vibes at all. Does this life counter go into double digits? I believe it does. Excellent. So hopefully we'll find out soon. I get this distinct feeling you're winning this one. I don't know. Don't ask me where that's coming from. Oh, what man. the shit? <laughs> well, let's see, we've got one more week, right? Next week? Yeah. Could still see a come from behind victory. I appear to be pretty bad at Thunderbolters, it turns out. And by pretty bad, I mean, like, I don't know, I'm doing okay, but I don't feel like I'm doing particularly great. Ah, well, I died my last life of uh, a throwaway credit right as the mid-boss is fucking off. That's entertaining. Stage one mid-boss is just like, I ain't got time for this, man. <laughs> Oh man. Cool. Excuse me. Can we go after the boss and not his little dingle dang, please? Thank you. And and not his excuse me what? His little dingle dang. The little red orb he sends after you, the desert boss. 
Ah. What shit? Oh, excuse me. What? Why are you excusing yourself now? Got hit by one of the little red dealios. Ah. Uh. I was gonna say, I hope you're not excusing yourself for your filthy mouth. Oh hell I no! Don't give a <laughs> No. I would be more I would be more offended at you trying to like think that I was offended or whatever. No, heck no, I treat that as a point of pride. <laughs> huh. Alright. It's okay, no it's no Mr. All first four, so that's good. Wow! That's way better than I have ever done. Also, I fucking died right at the end of stage one. Everything is bullshit. I hate video games. <laughs> games are bad. Video games were actually a mistake. Damn, Hunter makes that opening section in five so much easier. Not sure when the next extend is. Uh, the tip of the, the mothership thing. Or the next score extend, excuse me. I think all of those are super, super early. Well, I would like that shield, please. Going for it. Uh, yeah! Alright. Made it. Got it. Nailed it. Easy peasy. Yeah, fuck off, stage five, whatever your nuts is. I actually don't remember what stage 5's name is. I don't know. It's a clusterfuck of friendly ships get owned. This yeah, stage. that's true. I mean, I guess they are good meat shields for the lasers and shit that come from the ship. That's about all they got going for him, though. Um, oh, 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 uh... heard a second one pop- oh, it's the life. It does go to double digits. Alright. Told you so. Nice. Because there's a code to start you with 99. I mean, really, until this point, it was purely theoretical, in my I mind. I don't know if, uh, that code exists in the Japanese version. Back. Bonus points, I think the code in the US version is literally, uh, set your lives to zero, and then it's actually 99. Huh, nice. Oh no, how could you kill all my fellow pilots who are nameless? Oh no. Cruelty. Damn, you know what sucks is I'm actually doing a pretty good show of the end of stage two, but it's off of a absolutely atrocious stage one, so it all basically doesn't matter because uh -huh. I have like not nearly the amount of points I should. Well, if you somehow clear it though, clear all the way through five, might still make it. Cause yeah, like even though my stage one was atrocious, I'm still coming into stage two boss with like 27 mil. And I was missing a lot of points out of stage one, like multiple million. So huh. yeah, oh, was shit. squandered potential. But this is the only half decent run I've had so far tonight, so I'm carrying on with it anyway. Oh! Uh, the number counter screwed up, and so now it appears as though I have a free extra thousand boxes. Well, damn. Take I that. don't actually have them, Aww. but it appears as though. Also, I am bad at dodging things that I shouldn't have a problem with anymore. I'm playing so poorly today that I'm inclined to just give up and move on to games that don't require me to be good at video games. Uh, because that's... holy hell, am I bad at video games right now? That's fil filthy casual talk, though. Come on. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn, well now I have to keep playing after uh, getting called out like that. That's right, man. Gotta work through the bad times. If I had to restart after a fucking frozen ass golden run, I don't want to hear no lip about, oh boo hoo, I messed up level one. <laughs> Though, to be fair, I did express that losing that run was utter and complete horseshit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And you would have been well within your rights to be like, well, fuck this. Stop playing it. Fuck! I, <laughs> I would have, but I didn't, and now I've got 10 stock in stage 6, so what are you going to do? Well, that's one way to deal with the deal with the losing the golden run is to have a better golden run that's immediately right. after. Sucking it up right now. Being the worst, literal worst at video games. Man, Stabby McGee here is almost trivial with Hunter. Stabby McGee. Other fun things about Daddy McGee is he has weird fire jet things once you take out his two primary stabbers. Yeah. And he's oh. left with just the face stabber. Those have definitely stabbed me many times, or toasted me, I guess. Many, many times. Ah, no surprise laser in the face this time, thank you. <laughs> you sure showed that surprise laser what for. That's right. Hard to shoot somebody when you're dead before you get under the screen, fucko. <laughs> Got him. Why didn't that 5 box uh, actually make any attempt to move toward me? I don't know, it is a mystery. Oh, those things aren't helping me. They are hindering me. Oops. <laughs> well, okay. Lesson learned. Oh, careful. I wonder, if you have shield, can you just tank through the terrain until it goes away? It feels like you uh, can. I think you can. I think the shield text you against all the thing. Huh. Interesting. So, yeah, that's a strategy, hmm. I guess. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me! Excuse me. <laughs> what a shit. Oh, yeah, eat shit, you asshole. Alright, this is definitely going much better. Although I haven't yet reached the point where I froze before, so... The jury's out a little bit. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I think last time it froze on like the opening, like little sound of the boss music. Weird. I don't understand how that would happen. Neither do I. Oh well, it's fine. It's in the past. Fucking programming is hard. It is very. That none of that dodging had any right to work, but it did somehow. Uh, of course, now 
gonna have to nope. run through stage one to cock up the end of stage two just to, you know, be bad. Oh shit. Oh, I forgot about this dude's second form. Fuck off. Whoa! Me a fright. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, all right. Good, eat shit. Oof. If I lose Hunter, I'm so boned. It's not gonna end well. That goes away. Although, I think there's another Hunter on stage 8 somewhere. Oh, you've made it to stage 8 before? Yeah. My uh, current. Oh, yeah, there it is, but I'm not going for it this time. Did you have it already? Yep. Because <laughs> it's in a dead end area. Lazy route! I don't want to fucking die to the stage 2 boss again. Um, I ain't got time for that. Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, that scared, scared me. Bye-bye <laughs> railgun, but it's fine. <laughs> it's Are fine. Okay Excuse me. Good lord. I inhaled at the wrong moment. Oh. Oh, bye, Hunter. Crap. That shit is indestructible. Good to know. Oh, alright. Something. Excuse me. Uh. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, it's okay, it's okay. Alright, stage three mid boss. Oh, there's another hunter and a shield here. Thank you. Thank you for that. How about a claw, though? Or a craw, claw. whatever. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, oh, no, what are you doing, man? Um, what's... Oh, sh sh oh, sh oh, oh, sh oh. Ah! Oh. Uh, oh, well, all right. It's fine, it's fine. How would you do this without a shield? My goodness. This is silly. Good question. <laughs> for you. Oh my god, why? Fuck off. Also, this orbiting thing needs to fuck off, please? Both of you? Thank you. Oh no, there's another one. Fuck you. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, get him. Get him, boys. How do you really feel about the enemy hordes that are currently challenging you? I'm not enamored with this. Oh, especially when they do that. Excuse me. Um, oh, all right. How many lives are you at at this point? I've got six left so far. Oh my goodness. That's pretty good. But I am still going to get owned unless something turns my way here. Ah, this dude needs to stop wiggling around and get shot like a good dude. Ouch. Well, he's dead. Stages in this? Ten? I think ten. Gosh dang it. Yeah, it's, oh, it's oh. a long, it's <laughs> a long oh. 
I mean, uh, we're not quite at the levels of, like... Um, dude, you need to fucking pick a direction. Is your hitbox? Reveal <laughs> it. Reveal the hitbox there it to is. me. Okay. Oh, only when his mouth is open, of course. Fuck off with that. Ah! beyond the point where... Oh, I backed into that! Son of a... Oh! Fuck me. Should have gotten so much further in that. But whatever. There's an actual competent score. What on earth? Why are you not dead? Ah, oh, thank God he's dead. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not dead? Oh, wait, he's dead. Well, I'm down to single digits now. AKA only one left, so... It's gonna be a, a miracle. Wait, only single digits as in... As in one life left. <laughs> so the singlest uh, of single digits. <laughs> Are you... you're on to this boss then? Or? Uh, this is boss, I believe, yeah. Music just changed. Oh man, he is an ugly motherfucker. Holy heck. Oh. 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 Um, excuse me. No, bad touch. <laughs> Ah. Right. What is the deal here? Um, um, that's Good a no. Question. I don't have an answer oh. for you. Oh, that's scary. Ah! Well, that's it. <laughs> Damn. That weird. Okay. So, uh, what was the final result then? Uh, 168, 0500. Good god. It was an okay run. <laughs> an okay run, says the person who has potentially more than everyone else on the leaderboard combined. Yeah, an okay run. Well, it's good to make up for the shitty run I got juked out of, so whatever. Yeah, no, that's... Honestly, you you definitely deserved a, a good run after the game fucking locking up. Yeah, that was some garbage. But now it's time to switch over. So... That real quick. And hope my controls kept from last time. Otherwise, we get to watch Control Remap the game. Ooh, the best game of all. What an exciting opportunity to watch some serious control remapping at high speeds. That's right. I am ready. Our true mission starts now, after I get that far. <laughs> I get to try something new to run that stuff in half easy. Ah, that's a good start.
man, bosses take a long fucking time to kill if you're not using the lock shot. I saw a fascinating pattern where, like, you know the uh, first boss pattern where it has the little floaty dudes and they're all just shooting, like, load shots at you? Yeah. But there's eight of them, so it kind of covers it up? Apparently, if you let that second phase go long enough, there's that pattern, but all of the shots are clustered four next to each other. Huh. Yeah. Weird. Alright, so that first run didn't go great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I had literally the one competent run, and all the rest of them have been crap. Dave Company. Wait, that was still eligible for the bonus helicopter? What? <laughs> that was fucking slow. I'll, I mean, you know what? Okay, sure. That sounds great. Let's, let's go with that. Eh, a little pity every now and again. Whatever, I died in stage one, but I'm playing this one. I 
watch the demonstration actually play reasonably competently. Oh wait, they bombed. Never mind. <laughs> well, it was good while it lasted. I mean, they tried, I guess. Yeah, for a while. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna figure out what I'm, what I'm gonna play here. Approach your target and attack. Your mission starts now. Are you ready? mode for now while I figure that out. That's actually an entertaining option and I haven't done this in a while. Hmm. Well, there's stage one but it's fucking ugly as hell. I'm gonna play some nuclear throne. Nice. So I haven't played that in a while, and I ought to, because it's a good game. I love that damn title theme so much. Clear Throne's title theme is so good. think I can go through that. I cannot travel through bullets. This is news to me. Ah. Fascinating. Alright. Here we go. Let's see if I remember how to play this freaking game. I actually don't know if this computer has the settings set up correct. Like, probably. Cool. I have to turn it down, though. It turns out your throat is loud as hell! <laughs> oh! Oh, Jesus. Right. Also getting distracted by seeing how loud it is. It's even loud, but maybe it's not that loud. But then I got shot because I was not paying attention to the game. This is how pro players play. That is the best way to go. Approach your target and attack. Your mission starts now. Are you ready? Pro players also play by just spewing bullets everywhere, constantly running forward, and not having any even remote regard for one of those things. I mean, aiming and is granted, for suckers. Granted, that's spoken like a true steroids main, but, you know. Because <laughs> I have twice, twice the Naka, twice the Naka, twice the charge forward, uh, blindly and recklessly. I still remember that, that, uh, co-op run we did. That was fucking phenomenal. That was insane. You made it to what, like? I've made it to loop three once. Oh, right. You were yeah. way better at this game than I am. It was uh, not good for my heart, but hey, it was loop three. The best I've ever done solo is uh, like stage five and loop one, which I still think is that's pretty totally solid awesome. still. Uh, also, I just fucking went from nearly full health to zero and two one because I'm being dumb. So there's that. I mean really anything in a loop beyond stage one is pretty fucking good. Because it really wants you to stop playing at that point. Yeah. 
it is extremely interested in you maybe finding something else to do at that point in time. Also, this controller feels like I'm so used to playing it on a 360 controller, which is, it turns out, as bad of a game as it usually is for 2D games, or bad as a controller is it is for 2D games, it is phenomenal for nuclear throne. Like, the 360 controller is my favorite for attempting to reach the nuclear throne and failing repeatedly. Wow, all of these mutations fucking blow. <laughs> I guess I'll take long arms and hope that I can transform this into a melee run. No, it's a machine gun. Why would anyone want this? The machine gun is like just straight up inferior. Especially with steroids, but even with everyone else. Yeah, it's not the greatest weapon. I wish I mean it's I one know, of the worst. The disc gun. <laughs> I mean, fuck it, this run's going badly enough. Let's, let's go crazy. Send flying blades everywhere. Hey, I killed myself with it. Wow, it's gonna be back up. <laughs> Wait, I'm shocked. <laughs> Almost like that run was already thrown away. Yeah, the best part about the loops is it basically doesn't matter what weapons you have or anything like that. It's all a matter of, like, can you just comprehend the sheer garbage the game is throwing at you at that point? <sighs> Obviously, good weapons will still probably help a little bit, so I totally just contradict myself. Shut up! Um, a cursed flamethrower. Pass. I wouldn't take a normal flamethrower. What makes you think I would take a cursed one? Uh, I mean, there's always the cursed caves, but with the flamethrower? <laughs> yeah. There are so many better options than a cursed flamethrower, let me tell you. This isn't going great. It's not great. It's not great, but... I think I might have burned a lot of my good stuff on the Thunder Force 4s. <laughs> well, if you're gonna get uh, an improved score on Gateway, you best do so soon. Time's running out. It is. It is. Oh boy, I could trade up to an SMG. <laughs> I wow. mean, sure, if you just want to throw your bullets away. Wow, what a great idea. Now I'm just going to whack everything with the sledgehammer. Both more satisfying and more ammo efficient. If only this run was the run that I had fucking, uh... What? No! Stop with the damn flamethrower! <laughs> I heard you talking smack about him. Rightfully so, because a flamethrower is actually hot garbage. Flamethrowers and SMGs. That's apparently all I'm allowed to get. Anymore. Oh shit! No, I want that. Pop a heavy crossbow. Yes. Yeah. Hmm, nice. Yeah. That shit. Shame I'm almost dead, but heavy crossbow is still great. Straight up one of the best things you can uh, come across. Your target and attack. Your mission starts now. Are you ready? Give me that 
help. Yes, please. Alright. Back in biz. Let's go. So I'm armed with a heavy crossbow and a revolver? <laughs> <laughs> well... They're worse things to have. Yeah, I mean, honestly, for being the basic weapon, the revolver ain't half bad. Oh shit, a cursed splitter gun is actually probably worth it. I'm just kind of going for it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm a sucker for splitter guns. I've never been able to make those reliable. I think I'm just bad. Oh, actually, it's no longer cursed anyway, because I went into the, uh, into the temple. Oh, right. So there's that. So now I just have a cursed, or a cursed, I have a splitter gun with none of the downside of the curse. So, actually kind of kick-ass weaponry, here we go. Let's fucking lose this run in a really obnoxiously stable fashion. Sound good? Sound good. Yeah, that seems like the good plan right there. can see how that would very much improve their value. I mean, I think they're good regardless, but uh, with Bolt Marrow, they're extremely good. Like, a, a pair of super splinter guns on steroids can just, like, <laughs> unleash high holy death on everything in the immediate path. I mean, you run a bolt mighty quick, but uh, it's beautiful for, like, the five seconds of that last. That's usually a good sign of a good game. <laughs> In, instead of having to worry about, like, blinking at the same two dudes for half a fucking hour, uh, a la fucking Dungeon Syndrome, um, which I maintain is a game that I just cannot get into and I don't play. I don't care how much people try to get me into it, it just doesn't feel good. Granted, I also really enjoy Nuclear Throne, and Nuclear Throne's pacing is, um, just a tad faster. Oh shit, super tank. Okay, it's dead. But, it just seems like everything in Dungeon has about five times as much health as it really ought to. And it doesn't help that there's so many fewer good weapons in that game, it feels. Yeah. Like, there's a few that'll rock oh, just shit. everything, double but... Double Flame Shotgun. Alright, we're gonna go Double Flame Shotgun and Super, uh, or, uh Heavy Crossbow. Especially because I picked up the shotgun shoulders early, so I can actually get use out of it. You still have Bolt Marrow? Yeah. Nice. So, this is actually a pretty good weapon combo. Like, Double Flame Shotgun is just generally a good weapon. Also, what's up, Little Hunter? How are you doing? And he's dead. <laughs> it's amazing how much easier that fight is when you have good weaponry. And don't get immediately landed on. Well, yeah, that too.
Oh, I could get a super bazooka. Clearly, the best option available to me all, all game so far is the goddamn super bazooka. Totally not undoubtedly resulting in my death. <laughs> I think I it's boiling veins. Boiling veins actually a remarkably good option there because for one, I'm not dying as well. And for two, I can get heavy heart, which could increase the chances of me getting exciting weaponry later. I don't know. Because I already have bolt and arrow and shotgun shoulders, so I already had the requisite two uh things. So yeah. A remarkably solid option. Also, what the fuck angle did that generate? Also, also, the 6 1 generated seriously like four necromancers. Entirely too damn many necromancers. Eerily quiet. Oh, ooh, that's actually an interesting decision. A flat cannon showed up. Ooh. Fancy. Take that or the double play. I don't know, man. That's a tough call. That's actually a decision. I am legit unsure what to do about that. So I, yeah. I probably wouldn't, just because I like the flames, but. Yeah. I don't know, but they're both really good weapons, and if you block someone head on with a flat cannon, you just do ridiculous damage. Oh, a cursed plasma gun. <laughs> I mean, maybe Jeez. not, but it's an interesting option, I guess. I think I'm gonna just stick with the double play. I'm gonna stick with the more widely useful one. Oh, but a wave gun showed up on 7-3. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, boy. You've got your Stop pick of the shell me. weapons. Stop giving me... Uh, I think I'm going to take the wave gun. The wave gun, I think, is better than the double flame. But again, all three of those are just so good. Like, all three are... are very worthy weapons in their own right. Alright, yeah, I know. Rumble, 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 laser. Which is still just ridiculously rude on your first playthrough. Like, yeah, I got to the throat. <laughs> no, I got a laser. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think I avoided it the first time, but then I just ate it the second one because I forgot about it. Take that throne. So I almost, almost, almost reached the new clicker. Uh, fuck my life. Damn, like that was seriously ridiculous. It was showing no mercy right there. Like, you know the, the giant plasma blast that split into littler plasma blasts? Uh -huh. It shot like probably five of them just rapid fire at me while Oof. also crossing it up with the like split shot mm, that is uh that's a very moody throne yeah it was randomly just very upset at me oh assault rifle solid it's a shame i'm almost dead huh because i keep running into bullets like an idiot 
god, I got killed by a fucking maggot. Gross. What a ter what a terrible run. I didn't even see the damn thing. It was like covered up by the <laughs> by the uh, terrain like perspective. This doesn't start going better. I might call it an early night. I am not even getting past one. Oh, jeez. I'm being way too aggressive, as is the norm, and just eating every single bullet. Well, they're all delicious. They are great. Cannot deny the flavor. Oh, All right, well, I have a normal crossbow, so that's not bad. Yeah, I don't know. I'll do a couple more runs of uh, Nuclear Throne. I just booted it up because I wanted to still play something. But, uh... uh it seemed like a good idea at the time. But I, I'll probably uh, cut that shortly-ish after you cut like, whatever you whenever, whenever you give up on Kaysway, I'll probably have that be my last run of uh, Nuclear Throne. Oh, all right, dual crossbow, yeah, you know what, let's play, dual crossbow is actually, oh, never mind, the super scorpion explosion got me, damn, that's a shame, because dual crossbow is remarkably viable. Yeah, you like, get a good rhythm really... going with it, and it's fucking perfect. Yeah, Zero is one of the few characters that can make ordinary crossbow actually viable by just having two. One time I had dual heavy crossbow and that was really <laughs> interesting. Oh man, that'll wreck some days. Yeah, it was pretty great. It, it was a, certainly a thing that happened a bunch. It was killing things with the Good god, I'm bad at nuclear- Why did I pick Nuclear Throne? <laughs> I'm bad at video games today. Nuclear Throne is hard. So I'm gonna be bad at it. And it turns out, wow, I'm being bad at it. I mean, it doesn't help that I, too, am playing an entirely too aggressively. Oh, you're still alive. All right, stay or er, mutation one throne butt. I'll take that. Throne butt almost universally useful for muscle steroids. Cursed plasma gun. You oh, know what? Oh boy. Sure, let's fucking play. <laughs> Why the hell not? Let's. I too like to live dangerous. I say this as I stop using it because I'm almost out of energy already. I mean that's a danger in and of itself, so you're not wrong. Maybe I can coax my pistol into giving me some more energy to shoot things with. No, but uh, shooting the damn uh, shooting the damn thing with what energy I had left sure gave me additional bullets to fire. Thanks for nothing. Honestly, like. If you can maintain the energy, the, the plasma gun is not bad, but it's just so hard to maintain. Potentially worthwhile, like it's real damage if you can keep it going. Alright, spit out some dudes. Spit out some dudes. Dudes. Ah, oh, this is so disheartening. Right, I'll play out the rest of these five credits. Have a 
weapon that can sustain me until I can accumulate energy for my plasma gun. So back to the pistol it is so I can actually get some energy. Theoretically though, with drone butt, if I can get a weapon opposite that that can do some decent job at giving drone butt activation. This this uh, plasma gun might actually serve me pretty well here. And now, if nothing else, I have Gamma Guts as a uh, emergency fallback plan. So there's that too, I guess. Laser brain, so at this point, now I'm committed to the uh, plasma gun strategy. <laughs> this America. Still a lot going so great? No, not great. At least I'm getting a lot of the bonus choppers, but getting smacked down almost immediately thereafter. Damn, there's a lot of snipers. Oh, my mission can eat my ass. I'm not ready. A shovel. If it weren't for the fact that I desperately need Throne Butt to sustain my uh, plasma gun, the shovel would be tempting. But as it stands, um, I I need to keep the energy to feed that thing. Is there any benefit to switching to the normal shot right before the first boxes drop on the final boss? Or on the stage boss, rather? Um, or is that just more trouble than it's worth? If you successfully kill it with the normal shot, you don't lose multiplier for like the end of stage bonus. So that's kind of nice. Okay. If it's gonna get you killed, I would do it though. Oh god, that's right, this is cursed. Oh, fuck <laughs> my life, man. Oops. Alright, well, you're not. You haven't stopped playing, so I guess I'll do at least one more game of Thrones. Ah, dang it. Fucked up the mid boss. Oh. The other thing I love about Throne is it is pretty much all about just giving you the resources to sustain yourself as long as you can keep yourself puttering along long enough to get them. It's like it'll give you more health as you're low on health, and it'll give you more ammo as you're low on ammo. Yeah. So it's just all about charge forward, kill the dudes, don't die, but charge forward, kill the dudes. Part of why I enjoy playing as steroids. The steroids embodies the mentality of charge forward and kill the dudes. Oh, I had no reason to survive that, but I did. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna take the screwdriver and cross my fingers that I get a better golden weapon than I have now. Which I think is just a golden wrench, which kinda eh. It's okay. I'd rather start with like a crossbow on every round though. Why did I think that was a good idea? Son of a bitch. How many credits do you have left now? Got three left. But this one will be gone shortly.
Also, I have Recycle Plan, so clearly what I should try and go for here is the... Once I, once I figure out what my golden weapon is being anyway, what I should go for is the magical, like, double minigun strategy. <laughs> which uh -oh. is just the most beautiful fucking thing if you can sustain it for more than about a quarter of a second. Because, yo, I heard you wanted to just literally coat his tree and pull it. Well, here you go. Enjoy. how today is going to be, I see. <laughs> Man, uh... one time I was playing and uh, I was in the loop as steroids and what should spawn out of a weapon chest but a motherfucking golden splitter gun. Damn. Which I proceed to die on that level and not actually claim. It's bad luck, you man. Can, you can imagine how upset I was at this. Also, the circumstances of my death were, as always, in the loop. Somewhat dubious. Alright, well, I have this assault rifle. So, if I can get recycle gland, maybe I just go for the dual assault rifle practical option to be spraying bullets. Uh, it's like, dual assault rifle is a remarkably combo as well for my boy steroids here I'm just going for uh, spend unreasonable amount of bullets uh, filled with steroids now but those are pretty fun I mean it's not an unreasonable choice right up until you run out of bullets yeah I mean there's that Oh, you ass. actually a pretty decent combo. Especially because I just got Bolt and Arrow, and I already grabbed uh, Eagle Eyes. So, both of these weapons will actually mostly hit on target. Doing up there? What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> Man! Oh! Shit! Right next to each other. 
Look at all these craters. So many craters. Ugh. Gotta survive any of that. one here. Yep. Alright, well, for better or for worse. Toxic bow, fuck that. Oof, duck. Toxic bow is just kind of irredeemably bad. Pretty safe, I guess. It is a very good way of putting some ridiculous hurt on something very quickly. See also me just sort of spewing bullets and clearing out a solid like spawn and can't do this bunch of enemies. Granted, I am now basically, well, I just got a bunch of mana things, so I'm back to being decent again. But I was very much out, out of bullets after doing that for like a quarter of a second, but hey. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to upgrade to a crossbow, because I actually have the uh, mutations to support the crossbow, so goodbye minigun, we hardly knew you. I actually have trigger fingers, which will make the normal crossbow even better. The normal crossbow is already pretty. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. A quad machine gun, but it's cursed, so not actually a great option, but certainly an entertaining one. But yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not crazy enough to take the cursed quad machine gun. Even with Eagle Eye, I am just not that crazy. Oh god, that's a bad time for Little Hunter! Go the fuck away! Get out of that corner, please. Although, ah. if, you, if you were to continue to summon some dudes so that I could kill to get ammo, that would actually be kind of cool. Also, I think he died. Where did he die? I don't remember killing him. <laughs> eat it on his own flames somehow? That'd I don't know! It's an intriguing option. 
I'm not terribly fond of slugger type weapons in general. The assault one at least makes up for it with the extra shots, but it's still, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of partial to the Gatling slugger. But I typically don't play uh, steroids, so it has more utility for somebody who's not just total balls to the wall. Yeah. but I'm going to kill myself with it if I grab it, so... That is a weapon I only take if I have, uh, boiling veins. I ain't no fool. I know exactly what happens with that damn thing if you're not careful. Ooh. Heavy revolver is actually Ooh, a nice. weapon. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to survive long enough to get it, because I am extremely cornered right now. Okay, I got out of that somehow, but I think I'm going to switch out my crossbow for the heavy revolver, because heavy revolver is a remarkably good weapon. What the f- Like, probably, probably one of the best damn bullet-based weapons there are. If I could have two of those, boy, we'd be sorted. But Splinter Gun and Heavy Revolver is a pretty solid combo. One more and then I'm done, because I'm starting to get for real salty. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, okay, well I'm taking the Super Splinter Gun for sure. Do I go dual Splinter Gun? Super and normal, or do I go splitter gun, heavy, re uh, actually, splitter gun, heavy revolver? Just that I have the ammo variety too, working my favor. This is a pretty good weapon set, so how do I hilariously fumble throw a fight? Spoilers, the throne is probably going to be very upset with me for having found these weaponry. <laughs> this is inevitably how these things go. I don't know, man. It was just pissed at you for no reason last time. Maybe it forgot. Oh, I already blew that up. Uh... Oh, Christ. All right, well, there goes my halo. That's not the best. As always, ammo sustain is a real problem when you're playing as my boy Steroids. Alright, and it's a loop. Nice. 1-1 one, one, loop 1. So, this is going to be my last run regardless, but at least I'm making it a good one. Wait, where the shit did 5 of my health go? Oh, there's an assassin in there. Oh, fucking... Ah. Okay, uh, Trigger Figures is helping me a lot right now with this Super Splitter Gun. Oh my god, a Super Plasma Cannon! <laughs> Absolutely the worst idea, oh, but man. damn if it isn't tempting with my current setup. Also, what's up, man? Fuck me. Yeah, I knew I threw that away. Excellent. Good work. Uh, what an 
ugly night for Ketsui here. Okay, I'm gonna hang it up for tonight. <laughs> Alright, you stay on the call for the rest of Nuck Throne, or you, uh... Yeah, I'll stay. I'll stay, that's fine. Just gonna sign off on my stream. Okay. Okay, that's it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7pm CDT. We'll be back to Overload. Try us out some insane Christ plus. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's no, fine, sorry. it's fine. I didn't, I, I, like, if you saw what happened, <laughs> you would understand what, why, what. <laughs> I might just go back and watch it just for grins, because I'm really curious about what happened now. What's, what's, what's up, Emerson, by? <laughs> I'm, wow, holy shit. I'm just going to take a moment and breathe <laughs> after that one. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.